What's happening everybody? The Poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. And today's video is an unboxing video. We're going to get straight to the point. EKWB is a new partner of mine and they basically sent me a ton of stuff. The very first thing I wanted to open up are these two things. So this is about GPUs, GPU water cooling specifically. Now the 3080 and 3090 series for GPUs by NVIDIA typically run kind of hot. So normally you'll just get your regular GPU water block, slap it on the front, put on a backplate, call it a day, right? And that tends to be okay. But EK thought we could do better, right? And we can't. So they came up with this. This is the active cooling backplate. And what does that mean? It means we're gonna have water on the front and the back of the GPU. And I'm really excited about this because I've never seen anything like this before and I've been doing a lot of water cooling. So when I heard they were gonna be doing this, I was like, yeah, I need to get my hands on this. And they sent it, cool. So let's unbox this. I'm talking too much and let's see what kind of makes these things tick and where all the RGB is because that's what all of you just want to know anyway, right? So let's get into it. So this is the front of the GPU water cooling. Let's call it a kit basically because now it's two items. So we use uh, wine openers here because we're fancy like that. And let's just get right into it. Why don't we? Right. So of course we have our thermal pads. I've always liked these thermal pads from EK. They have some like heft to them. Very nice. Uh, all of the tools. I swear that this thing right here must be 3D printed. It just has that like 3D, 3D printed feel or something. I don't know. It's irrelevant, but um, it helps you kind of close off these things. So nice little tool right there. Plenty of screws and EK always gives you a lot more screws than we you will ever need. And here we go. And this is definitely very familiar. So when it comes to uh, any type of water cooling hardware, yep, I just did that. I always inspect it uh, for a number of reasons. One, it's the times. You know, we are in the time of uh, reduced labor force in different areas because of social distancing and all that good stuff. So there can be flaws in manufacturing processes across the board, uh, shipping issues, all kinds of stuff. So I always look for, to see like if there's any cracks anywhere along where things could like vibrate within, um, you know, shipping. The uh, jet plate right here is in the right position. So take a look at my previous video where I kind of had to fix that. Uh, with another one of these water blocks here. And all of this under first inspection looks pretty darn good. All right, so this is the RGB, you know, so these light up pretty darn cool. I do have one of these in another system of mine uh, that I call Destro, and it's uh, performing exceptionally well. But this is the front. All of you are watching for the back plate. So let's get into that. Now here is the active backplate. It's the EK Quantum Vector backplate. And this is compatible with an RTX 3080 and a 3090 uh, reference design. So it's very nice. So for me, like I have an HP Omen uh, RTX uh, 3080 and a 3090. And this same design is compatible with both of them. If I can uh, open this up. There we go. So, ooh, shiny. Look at this thing. Oh, and it has some uh, depth to it as well. Now that's that's pretty cool. Right, let's just see what else is in here. Uh, yeah, these are some thick, thick boy thermal pads, people. Like heavy and thick. Very thick thermal pads. Okay, so I'm actually really curious about these thermal pads here because thermal pads can really make or break a, uh, a water cooling backplate uh, cooling capacity and normally that's just passive, but these are extremely thick and heavy. Very, very nice. All right. Uh, now the thickness for thermal pads, um, that's kind of a, an ongoing discussion, but basically uh, thinner pads like this one 
tend to you know, transfer heat from A to B better than a thick pad like this. But there's gonna be parts of the back of the uh, GPU that just won't touch the back plate. Therefore, you're gonna need a thicker pad like this uh, in order to get it from the GPU to the back plate and a thinner pad in some other areas because there's a lot less space. So that's kind of why you're gonna see different padding. So when you're doing this, make sure you're using the correct thickness per area on the GPU. All right, so now let's bring this over. This is pretty darn cool. So you can already tell that it has RGB. So we're gonna have RGB on the front and the back. And I have no problem with that. So let's take a look this way. Um, yeah, this is interesting. So it looks like there was something here. What is that? I don't know, maybe there was a sticker there. They took it off, I have no idea. Uh, it says uh, leak tested, coded, right? And this is uh, pretty darn impressive. Well, it's easily the best looking GPU backplate I've ever laid my eyes on because I've never seen one before that has water cooling. Straightforward. This is, this is cool. <laughs> um, so you can see how this is nice and thick. So it kind of joins the front and the back together. This is going to be a very interesting experience. So this is what they look like uh, next to each other, not together yet, but yeah, this is gonna be kind of interesting. So the back is really nice and shiny. This part is definitely kind of thick, thick boy-ish style. And this is well machined. It's, it's heavy as well. So this is gonna make your RTX 3080 or 3090 uh, extra heavy. Yep, especially this. This is like twice as much for the weight. And so, this will actually go like this. Something like that. So this is gonna be kind of cool, having a GPU nice and thick, water cooling on the back, and water cooling on the front. I can't wait to get started. So this is what the RGB looks like on the front, but let's plug in the active backplate and see what that looks like. So the RGB is along this side right here, which makes sense. So overall, my first impression is really positive. I like the way that EK has done their design for these vector lines. And of course, this active backplate is just stunning. And because this is something new, something unique, something that we actually need for a 3090s, uh, I'm really curious to see what all of you do with your PC case designs because typically when you have a GPU water block and you spend time you know putting it all together and, and money as well you have it on display like vertically mounted that's very very common but now that you have an extra option to show the back of it in a really nice and unique way what are you going to do are you going to keep it vertically mounted which then like hides it so you can't see it it would basically like be like that you can't see it or are you gonna do something like this, or like that, or like that, or like, I don't know. Let me know. Show me what you're gonna do. Tag me in all your videos. Tag me on your Twitters and Instagrams and all that good stuff because I want to see some really cool and interesting designs. And the really intriguing ones, I'll definitely share it on my social media as well. So that's about it. Let me know what questions you guys may have. And of course, I'm going to be doing a lot of benchmarks on this because the 3090 that I have in the O11 Dynamic Mini Snow Edition right here, the temperatures are really good, but on occasion, the areas where this backplate would address do hit triple digits. So this is going to be really nice to drop those temperatures substantially. So overall, thumbs up, and I can't wait for future benchmarks and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for more videos. And so like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.